What up, neighbors? I wanted to come in and wish everybody had a wonderful Christmas holiday. Everybody was safe and everybody got whatever they wanted to get. But with that being said, hopefully everyone is safe. And I just came in to show you guys this new one of color in my bedroom that I'm going for. Um, it is a teal, I'm going to say teal blue, and, well, it looked tealish gray, teal, green, and gray together, I think, but that's the color it shows, and it got the black flower print on it, or the, uh, some type of black velvet print on it, and y'all, I found this comforter at, at home. It was a, I think a seven piece set. And I like the feel of the velvet little uh, signature on the uh, comforter. And I love the color. There's a king. And these are the pillows. And of course, your girl loved to shop on the budget. I was scouting around and I went to my favorite store which is City Trend and I found these curtains that match this set you guys and it has the same velvety uh, inlays of that signature on it and this is the color if you can see it it looks like it may be a green gray but I love that color Found that at City Trend and the little white vase that you see there. My daughter gave that to me. That's a humidifier. She gave that to me. She bought two and wanted to give mama one of them. So, and let me see what else changed. Oh, the side tables actually changed in, in this room as well. That gl glass side table came from Hay Needle and it's open shelves and of course i got my little gray basket down there with all my little night bedtime night stuff down in there my hair scarf and all that good stuff there and let me see what else changed i told you guys when i first started showing this room that i would never put a dresser in this room well, guess what, y'all? I got a dresser in this room. The last time y'all seen it, y'all saw the two shelves that was going up on each side of the fireplace. Well, I got this, uh, I got this, this, uh, shelf here to put in my closet. In my little mini boutique. And y'all, I'm changing out that closet. See, like every chance I'm getting, I'm changing that closet out. But I bought another dresser to go in there. So this little mini chest right here, it's a nice piece of furniture that I can literally use. And I'm thinking about taking it off this wall, putting it over here on this wall. Because if you recall, the black, um, that painting right there was over here on this side of the wall. And I do like to rearrange and change out and all that good stuff too, y'all. So those are the changes that I made. And of course, I just go in and I change out the, the fireplace setting there. But I'm thinking about, y'all, putting a TV up here. And if we have not had a TV in this room because that was an agreement between me and my husband. Because at one point in time when I was a CO, I was getting up at 4 in the morning. And he would he would sleep with the TV on. And I'm a person that don't like noise. When I go to sleep, I want to go to sleep. I want to sleep. And with the TV in here, we made an agreement. Once that TV came up out of here. And it's going on almost maybe 
Woo, about 13, 14 years we haven't had a TV in here. So I'm thinking about, now that my schedule has changed, I'm no longer a CEO. My schedule has changed. And I go to work a normal 8 to 4 30. I don't mind a TV in here. But that's what I'm debating on next. Putting a TV in the bedroom. What you guys think? Right there where that mirror at. And I'm thinking about moving that chest right there too. And putting it on that empty wall. Or put my mirror over there. And put my chest over here. What you guys think? I need some help, y'all. But yes, this is how the room is coming along and how it has changed. Yes, it has changed. And if you recall that little uh, DIY table there, that was a bedside table that I'm about to give away to Goodwill. That table right there for me to go to Goodwill or the Kidney Foundation, whichever one. And yes. This is how it's looking. Um, decluttering. Yes, for the new year. Decluttering, getting all the stuff up out of here. And you guys, if you are, or if you grew up in the South, then you already know you cannot go into the new year with clutter in your house. You cannot wash clothes on New Year's. And... You have to let a man walk through your house first. And a woman cannot step in your house until after 12. That man brings good luck for the whole year. And make sure you cook your collard greens and your black eyed peas. Those are wives' tales that I stand by every year. I'm calling my siblings. Hey, don't wash on New Year's. Hey, don't let no female come in your house. But those are those southern traditions that I grew up with and I still keep and I'm passing them along okay but anyway or uh, anywho that is all I have for you guys today and I wish you a happy new year and a wonderful blessed new year and please y'all guys be safe because I do want my neighbors in the new year to watch my videos no matter what I put up okay now, with that being said, if I got any newcomers coming to this channel for the first time, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, make sure if you like the content of what I put up, hit the notification bell so when I do upload, you'll be the first one to know and see and comment, okay? Also, hit the subscribe button and make sure you share the video. And to my own neighbors, thank you guys for being loyal for, to my channel for 2018. Hopefully, y'all will remain loyal on, on, and on, okay? Helping me grow this channel and giving me thumbs up. Getting me new subscriptions, guys. Come on now. You're my neighbors. You got to make sure you tell your neighbors about your new neighbor, okay? Also, y'all stay blessed, stay faithful, and stay hopeful. See y'all in the new year. Peace.